here at the Seatec and hi, so who are you? Hello, my name is Tobi Pekka Takalo, I'm uh, from Korharpe. And, uh, and hi. Hello. So, so who are you? Tomi Moelan in Core Hardware Sales. So, um, what is the Core Hardware? So, Core Hardware is the company from Finland. We do the design service, and now we are promoting here in CTEC our first own component called Rabbit, which is the SP16, the antenna switch. So, uh, what do we see in there? What is this um, solution you have going on here? You, you made a special PCB? Round shape. Uh, so we have our own semiconductor antenna switch component here. Oh, sorry. Can you stand on this side? Yes. Yeah. So you said what? Sorry. Uh, we have here a 16th row antenna switch component semiconductor chip, which we have designed, and also here we have the PCB and then this antenna array. In this case, you designed the chip. We designed the chip and also the antenna and. Uh, also the reference it looks like a, a spider with all the legs going around. Pretty so, much so, pretty much so. So you have eight. We have eight here, but eight we have antennas? a different. We have different types of prototypes, uh, mm -hmm. different sizes of antenna arrays. So then uh, here it's showing uh, what's happening, and you do the antennas all around with one. We are switching between the antennas with micro, one microsecond intervals, and with that information uh, we can calculate the direction of the. A radio signal. So, um, can you demo? Can you show how it works? Yes. Um, so, you can see, see here the arrow. Yeah. And here I have just a normal Bluetooth 5.1 uh, yeah. transceiver. And when I move around, this uh, arrow should follow. Uh, now it's rotating with the wrong direction, but uh, it's. Uh, Measuring so, the direction of the radio signal. So it's indoor Bluetooth positioning? Yes, correct. With one receiver? With one Bluetooth chip, yes. With one Bluetooth chip? Yeah. Uh, and then you can have several in the room also? And uh, uh, yeah. triangulate them and stuff? Yes, so adding uh, like uh, two or more uh, locators, uh, you can then improve the measurement accuracy. So using the triangulation also. Is, this, uh, is it better to do it this way than to do it uh, by just regular triangulation? Um, so there is a legacy system for Bluetooth, which is based on RSSI, so Received Signal Strength Indicator. And there people use a lot of triangulation, but they read something like 3 to 5 meter accuracy. With this um, uh, angle measurement system, you can read sub 1 meter accuracy easily indoor. Sub 1 meter in the... With one so, so what is this you're showing here? So is this, regular this is regular Bluetooth uh, uh, board? transit chip, yeah. So this is from Nordic, this case here. But this is just a development board, but it, it could yeah. be a tiny little module. Of course, of course. Very small battery power. Yes. And then but you it have to be it have to be Bluetooth 5.1. 5.1. What's special about 5.1? Um, what is the new thing about 5.1? Yeah, 5.1 was published, uh, I think, uh, January this year. And there was introduced this angle of arrival and angle of departure uh, system. Angle of arrival. Yeah. And you take advantage of that. Yes. But uh, so this is brand new system. It's a concept. new system, yeah. And this is solution. Our chip is ramping up uh, Q1 next year. Uh, so it's going to be in mass production. Yes. And you have the fab, everything lined up, ready yes. to make many. And yeah, we're just picking up now orders. Is it the best way to design it with the eight and the spider, uh, or you can have different configuration? Well, our antenna. Switch uh, supports uh, 16 antennas, but um, it depends on the installation location, uh, what kind of radio environment there is. That this type of antenna array is the best. And they the can be they can be patch antennas in the ceiling, for example. But we have here we have these kind of tribal antennas. What's the market? Who's going to use this? Well, the applications are numerous. First ones will be different types of assets, asset trackings. Uh, also, some people tracking systems are. Uh, then also the AOD feature could be uh, like wayfinding here in this Seatec uh, exhibition hall. You could easily find uh, the different boots with indoor navigation. And um, basically, in future, in a couple of years, everything will be tracked. Everything. Is it the best way to do is Bluetooth 5.1 and your solution? Or uh, what's the competitor? 
they're doing RFID tags and stuff and stuff or yeah I think the, the nearest one is maybe ultra wide band which is giving a, a accurate distance we are giving the accurate direction All right. but this, can, this technologies can be also complementary could you combine them Yes, we could combine those, yeah. So you can have your chip and another one on the same PCB or something like that? Yeah, sure, that's possible. So you could partner with PCB designers? Yeah, or different uh, chipset guys, or yeah. Right. And maybe uh, license your IP? Or do you use standard IP? Or do you, how do you build it? We are selling the rapid uh, switch component. But we can then also license our reference antenna designs and also to reference algorithms for the cal position calculation.